I am trying to replace the polypropylene glycol as a, a anti-freezing agent in the formula with the FT100 that solvate supply this product. We need to adjust the viscosity. We need, you need a less amount of FT100 compared to PG propylene glycol. Usually you need to have 2%. Around 2% PG in the formula, but FT100 is much less than 2%. So it's going to affect the uh, viscosity of the grind, and also it may affect the deformer performance. So propylene glycol is a VOC. When you have in your water-based formulation, uh, so it increasing the VOC percentages in your formula. Beautiful donut. One of the advantages is you are going to use less FT100 compared to propylene glycol. The second advantage is, is propylene glycol is considered VOC, but FT100 is not. So keep in mind, when you're taking propylene glycol out of the formula, you have to adjust the coalescent agent based on the final minimum thin formation of the product. So there is a trade-in. So usually when you have a very uniform particle size, uh, narrow distributed uh, pigments, you're going to get a, a better and quicker dispersion. And also organic pigment usually take longer time for getting dispersed in the uh, liquid than inorganic. Something like TiO2 is, you can disperse TiO2 very quickly in 10 to 15 minutes at minimum speed. So I made three samples and uh, one is with 2% polypropylene glycol. And I removed the propylene glycol, I added 1% FT100, and then I have same samples at 0.7% FT100. So this sample is going to the cyclic freestyle stability test and we are going to evaluate how effective, what is the effective level for FT100 for this formula and compare with regular 2% PG. So my samples are, are ready and I just need to transfer to the metal container and start the freestyle stability. 17 hours, cold temperature, seven hours room temperature.